So there was one Brahmana by name Rama who was from uh, South India. A very poor person, hard to maintain himself. Even after begging, he will not get sufficient food. Sometimes for many days he had to go on fasting because he was not getting proper food to maintain his body. So since he is not able to maintain himself, his family had discarded him, nobody had bothered about him. And he became just like a lump of bones and skin. There is nothing inside the body. His stomach always was burning with hunger and he could not tolerate that severity of his poverty. So he thought, how I can get out of this situation? So then he started contemplating, in my past life I would have done so much sinful activities that I am suffering for this situation. And only way to come out of this situation is if Lord gives me mercy. So every day he used to pray to the Lord, please take me out of this situation. I cannot tolerate, I cannot survive for a long time. So at that time he got to know that Lord Jagannatha is the Patita Pavana, the deliverer of the fallen. Jagannath Puri is called as Annakshetra, where unlimited food is offered to the Lord. So because of too much hunger, he thought, let me go to Lord Jagannatha and let me pray for him. Let me remove my this situation. So uh, thinking like that, he started walking for Nilachala, but he thought, I will be able to reach Nilachala with this situation, with no food, all these things and all. Can I reach Jagannath Puri? Before that itself, I may quit. I may finish my body. He, used to, he was praying to Lord Jagannatha, please give me an opportunity to come and have your darshan. At least in one lifetime, this lifetime, let me have your darshan. So in the due course, finally he reached Nilachala and took darshan of Lord Jagannatha. See, he was praying to the Lord, I am a poor Brahmana dying of starvation. I have no one but you. Please save me from the misery of poverty and please give me some wealth. So the Brahmana begged for a little food to eat for that day. And next day, he again returned to the temple and he again prayed to Lord Jagannatha. Oh Lord, this Brahmana is suffering terribly and is about to die. Please remove my poverty and please give me abundant riches. I beg you to give me the boon of wealth, otherwise I will kill myself right before your eyes. He started in a little pressurizing the situation on Lord. He's almost like threatening the Lord. If you don't give me money, I'll commit suicide. Then he started fasting. Then he had almost fasted for seven days and he was becoming more and more weak. In the meantime, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was sitting surrounded by his intimate devotees. They were joyously singing uh, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and the glories of Vrindavana and all the pastimes and all. Suddenly, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started feeling something inconvenience in his heart. He became silent. So devotees were wondering why the Lord was abruptly distracted and uh, why he was very silent. So he fasted for seven days and uh, Lord Jagannatha did not respond. So after becoming weakened after seven days, the Brahmana decided to commit suicide by drowning in the ocean. So he came near the shore. Then he was praying to the ocean to give him some play in the ocean means to quit his body. At that particular time, he saw one huge personality. He came out of the water and he became like a normal human being and he started walking towards Jagannatha temple. Then this Brahmana, uh, this Brahmana thought, he must be Jagannatha himself. He can come out of that water and immediately transform himself into a normal person. Then he started following behind that person. So that person saw that somebody is following him. After some time, he turned back and asked, who are you? Why are you following me? This man said, I know you are a, some, uh, you should be Jagannatha himself. You have come here to deliver me. So please, uh, meeting me, give me the true knowledge. Who are you? What are you? Then that person said, why you want details about me? What is your reason? Why are you here? Then he started explaining he is a poor Brahmana, nobody is to take care and uh, he was struggling for his maintenance. So he was not even getting proper food and uh, for past seven days how he had taken tapa, uh, Diksha that he wants to convince to Jagannatha for money. Uh, he, after explaining everything and all, that person became very uh, compassionate towards this Brahmana and uh, he started revealing. Actually, I am king of Lanka, Vibhishana. I came here to have Darshan of Lord Jagannatha. So then uh, he said, okay, okay, please, if you are going to have Jagannatha Darshan, please take me also and request on my behalf to Lord Jagannatha to give me some wealth. So this Brahmana also was taken and uh, they went outside towards Darshan. So Lord uh, asked some of the devotees, Govinda, to go and they were in the uh, Tota Gopinath temple. The Lord asked Govinda, please go and check outside whether somebody is waiting for me or not. Then Govinda went and said, there were two Brahmanas waiting for you outside. So the Lord asked Govinda to bring them inside. Govinda went outside and respectfully brought the, both the Brahmanas. 
one brahmana came and sat near chetan mahaprabhu and the other brahmana who was uh, that uh, weakened person he sat in a near far by distance so when this person came closer to chetan mahaprabhu chetan mahaprabhu touched him he paid obeisances and both of them became ecstatic and both of them were crying and after that there was some discussion between both of them so that brahmana was explaining about this nature of this poor brahmana and he was explaining uh, how the situation was all these things and all so then chetan mahaprabhu said it is long time you have come here how about you all this prashna this kushala mangal prashna were over so chetan mahaprabhu said okay so since uh, lord jagannath he was torturing lord jagannath for past 7 days so now by the will of the lord you have come here you take him to your place and give him whatever he wants that much wealth you give him so after uh, discussions were over chetan mahaprabhu hugged him again and uh, this brahmana started walking outside and the other old brahmana started following him then when he came outside he said who is that person you said you came here to have darshan of lord jagannath but where are you going away without having darshan you are not gone to the temple only then vibhishna said the person whom we have come to meet is lord jagannath in the form of chetan mahaprabhu he is personally he is there so i have met him and i have communicated to him about your problem and he has sanctioned you the unlimited wealth so then that brahmana became very sorry he said uh, please forgive me i could not recognize it was lord jagannath in the form of a uh, chetan mahaprabhu please take me once again back i could not properly have darshan I, uh, both the brahmanas again came back then uh, all the people who are all also who are all associated of chetan mahaprabhu they were wondering who is this brahmana we have never seen him in our life and uh, what is what did chetan mahaprabhu discuss with him what is this confidential talk all these things and all they were all uh, in uh, confusion who is this person first time we are seeing and chetan mahaprabhu was very affectionately talking to him in the meantime both the brahmanas came back and chetan mahaprabhu asked why did you both of you come back so then asked this brahmana only why he wanted to come back then that brahmana came back came and fell at the chetan mahaprabhu's lotus feet and uh, he started saying i was looking for wealth but i have found i don't want wealth he please bless me that i will uh, get obtain that love of godhead and go back home back to godhead and uh, like he was asking what is beneficial for me you bless with me i don't want this money all these things and all please give me that highest wealth which can never be, be taken away or which i will never be able to lose from my life then chetan mahaprabhu blessed him and touched him then that person became ecstatic in love then uh, the both persons went away outside then all the other devotees represented by parmanand puri he came and asked chetan mahaprabhu who is that person what actually transferred what is going on here all the other devotees were also very inquisitive but we can't understand but we are not there enough to come and ask so i had put forward this question on behalf of all the devotees then chetan mahaprabhu says that the first brahmana who came and sat me near me was vibhishana so uh, he came here to have my darshan so other person who sat here was that one brahmana who came from south india who was struggling for maintenance so he was pestering jagannatha for money but here on uh, told vibhishna to sanction him whatever money he wants now he will take him to his place and give him unlimited money but but when he heard that he was uh, he had darshan of lord jagannatha he came here and he said i don't want money but i want your bhakti see in that way so lord gave what is required to survive in this life that is money what is required to for the next life that is love of god both things were blessed in the association of devotees of the lord so this is the importance of associating with the devotees by uh, like through vibhishana that brahmana got the unlimited wealth of both for this life and for the next life of going back home back to god materially he benefited and spiritually he got that benefit so similarly lord has sent us propar through his association will be able to get materially be happy by eating three times prasadam by chanting by reading hearing philosophy and spiritually when we become perfect we'll go back home